You probably think I'm standing at a resort or maybe in paradise. It certainly feels like that, but believe it or not, it's an average backyard that's no longer average in the suburbs in the greater Toronto area. And yes, we get snow here and very cold weather a good portion of the year, but that doesn't mean you can't have a beautiful house and especially a beautiful backyard. I'm going to show you some of the rooms this beautiful house has been made over to have more of an indoor outdoor feel. But before I do that, I want to show you some of the great features that we added to this backyard. This part was the, really the only original structure that we kept in this backyard. It was very cool because our homeowners actually spent a lot of time building basically a wood burning chimney here so that they can roast on it, they can do pizza on it, and we thought what a great feature, we don't want to get rid of that. Now this structure was already here but it had a lot more gardens all around it. It was very overgrown and the patio material itself is actually a very tiny interlocking stone. Problem with that stone is over time it starts to sink and of course once it starts to sink it allows all sorts of lovely greenery to go through. It doesn't do anything for the space. So what we did was kept the structure, kept this as a feature because it's so nice and then we painted all of the cedar. Now yes this is cedar and one of the problems in our climate is cedar remains wet a lot of the time and because of that it really never dries dries out which allows it to rot. So here what we always suggest people use if they want it to last longer with less maintenance is to use a solid stain and that's what's actually on this and the inside of this structure. Not only does it lighten it up considerably so it doesn't seem heavy anymore, it actually allows it to be a really nice feature within this really open garden area. We did replace the roof and although it looks like regular shingles on there, it's not. These are actually a plastic composite which is perfect for our climate because it can really withstand the cold, the snow, the wind, everything back here, so it's really no maintenance. What I love is we have these chairs that are also a composite material which is nice because again I don't have to worry about looking after them. This feature here gives us a beautiful look to the pool and to the back of the house. This overhead pergola was part of the original structure, which in the end we decided to keep. This building here was the pool house. Now it kind of had a little bit of a neat serving thing going on, but we really improved it. So what's great about this building is we were able to add a new granite countertop. So this is actually granite and it's actually okay for our climate inside and outside is stone so it can manage um, which is very nice and now we have this great counter where we can serve from. Here's the thing about cabanas. We have a tendency to always do things in a cedar color but when you want to lighten up a space and not make it feel cluttered whether it's inside or outside like this you want it to blend in. So by painting this the same color as our new tile all the way around the pool, what it does is it gives it structure and sophistication, but it doesn't take over. And again, this is a solid stain, so it's good low maintenance. Would you like a drink? This backyard is really set up for entertaining and one of the things that the homeowners already had was an outdoor kitchen. So what we've done is maintain that and it's great because it has all our storage, stainless steel of course, all built in underneath. We have a solid countertop, we have our barbecue smoker over here. So it gives us all our options for any kind of cooking opportunity you want, you can do out here. And it's proximity to our new extended kitchen is great. So you can just come right out the door, use your barbecue at any time of the year and it's easy enough to go right back in. And what's a backyard without a putting green? Here is a great idea. If you have leftover grass that maybe you want to do something with rather than just mowing it, why not add in an artificial green like this? This is such a fun idea and when you're entertaining, this is a great way to test people, get them to get a hole in one and then they get a drink, you know, whatever you need to do. But I really like the idea that it's using up space that would otherwise be left out. So this is the idea of a great backyard, is putting in the items that have meaning to you. This particular homeowner happens to love golf, so it makes sense that we have this here. Now, one of the things that we did, which really was the thing that motivated changing the backyard, is this piece here. This was actually just a covered 
porch. This was actually not an enclosure that was part of the kitchen. So once we started doing all of that space and enclosing it and giving us this beautiful view to the backyard, basically the backyard ended up getting redone. But why we had to keep the structure as it was and didn't add two stories was the roof. So the roof you'll notice on there is what looks like a half moon, I guess, uh, semicircle tile, and it's made out of a terracotta. It's actually called a Marley roof. It's a beautiful roof. The challenge is they're hard to get and they're hard to repair. So we wanted to make sure the existing structure that was over here, we kept the roof and actually enclosed underneath it. Put down new footings, foundation, so that we could enclose the area. So now, standing here, you definitely feel like that when you look at the house and you look at how wonderful their backyard is. And now we step into the best part of the house, I think. Now remember, this space that I'm standing in was originally just covered porch. The skylights were existing. All we've done is enclose this area, but we haven't enclosed it to the point that it feels like we don't get a sense of the outdoors. By adding a nano wall, we can open this up completely so we have full on living of indoor outdoor. This really gives you the feeling that if you want to, you're eating on the patio without being on the patio. This is such a great system. Basically, the doors close and open like an accordion. So you push them aside and then you pull them closed. And the nice thing is we actually have a man door here too, which means that I can go in and out without opening all the doors. You'll notice that our table is a nice um, light color, very similar to the flooring. It's got a very soft table top on it. It's made for wear. It's basically wormy maple, so you can be hard on this. The other thing that makes this a great table for the kitchen is not just the surface and the color, but the chairs, which are a very stylish set of chairs, but they're actually made of, out of vinyl. It doesn't look like they're vinyl. They look like a leather, but these are basically wipe and wear. So these are all the things that we added in for this client so that this space became really an aspect of indoor outdoor living. Now where I'm standing right now is what we call the Florida room or the sun room. This was here originally and it was built many years ago which accounts for some of the really unusual roof details in here. But what we did was really bring it back to life and give it more of that outdoor indoor feel like it was intended to. Part of the way of doing that is taking some of the structure and actually wrapping it in what looked like beams. So you'll see what look like sort of large heavy oak beams are actually just covers over top of the structure. This raised area was already here. What we did was take it from plain drywall that had shown its age by starting to crack and peel and adding onto it what looks like a board and batten. This is actually made from a material that is a plaster that goes over top of a styrofoam. So it's actually specially cut to fit into the odd angles here. This is really compound shapes that we have all through here. So it's not easy to do. But the beauty of the styrofoam is it moves with the house. So as we have expansion and contraction, which all houses do from hot to cold, that allows us to move and not crack. Another thing we did though that we thought was important is although we have an existing wood burning fireplace, beautiful, we didn't change that, we kept it, is we added an existing television over top. This was always here, but we were worried about heat, movement of heat through the space, so we made sure when we pulled everything apart, we re-insulated so that there was no heat that was going to get to the electronics. The other key thing we did was we took the television and we actually recessed it into the wall. So we created a cavity that hides the bracket so that doesn't sit out and hides all the cords and cabling. So this gives us a much more uniform look, it looks much more pretty when you see it now. So here in the dining room, what I love about it is that it's such an unusual space in that it's in the center of the house and it's got kind of this wall cut off a little bit. So it's a big room, but not an easy room. So what we did was built a custom table to fit the center of the room. This is a case where a lot of people really do like to still have a formal dining room, even though the feeling in here is not that formal. You'll notice, key thing, is that we actually have a light wood floor, which I know for a lot of people is very stressful when they think that their wood of their furniture doesn't match your floor. It doesn't have to. The whole idea of this house is outdoor living, casual lifestyle, easy, um, relaxed. So having a dark wood table really is offset by the light floor. You'll notice on the walls, we actually have really nice wallpaper. It's got like a little bit of a 
uh, shimmer to it and that's the way we get a formality it's actually a grass cloth with a metallic background so what it does is it gives us sort of a little bit of light through the space so it reflects so that's how we create formality without having all sorts of overdone pieces in here now the one piece that does really stand out I have to say is the chandelier we like to call it the glacier or the crystal and it's really a modern take on what we would traditionally call a traditional glass chandelier and it becomes the focal point in this this room. As you can see it's not really a bright room, it doesn't have a lot of natural light, but that's okay for a dining room because generally you're using it at a time of day when your lighting is low anyway. A couple things that tie this room together is our furniture here in terms of the fabrics. We actually have two fabrics on here. We have velvet on the face which is nice and durable and then on the back we actually have a fabric that has a little bit of a shimmer similar to what we have in the wallpaper. So what we create is the idea of a metallic repeating itself here on the chairs just like we have on the walls but then we have the lushness of the velvet on the face of it. One of the details that we've added here is mirror. So we have the orchids in a mirrored container we have the mirrored tray and this is really repeated in the mirror that we have over top of our custom made buffet. It's all that shine that really gives us the sense of ambiance or specialness in a room like the dining room. This is the one room where you can really do something like this and people want to have that sense that there's something special going on in this room because it's usually only used for special occasions. So the final piece of the puzzle is the kitchen and this is really where everything began. Like most homeowners, always want a little bit more out of their kitchen and that is so true of this house. Originally I want you to think that this area that I'm sort of standing in was the edge of the house and this area was a little tiny kitchen pushed in there and this part beyond me, beyond my left over here was actually outdoor deck with a covered roof on it. So what we did was actually annex this whole part and brought it into the kitchen and that gave us room to do really what is now a showstopper. A couple things to note in terms of planning. We have a big island here so this is perfect for working on entertaining. We have our bar stools. The other thing though is because we have this wonderful outdoor space you can't ignore that when you're designing. We wanted to make sure we added a great entertainment area. This area which has a fridge here, wine fridge and then coolers below and then uh, you can see we have some good alcohol storage. Um, what this really gives us is a place that allows you to prepare drinks or hors d'oeuvres or even dessert and coffee that's separate from the rest of the kitchen. And the key for that is when you have a smaller space, not that this is small anymore, but it allows more than one person to be in here at a time. Now, we actually extended the light hardwood all the way through here. So again, it gives us that indoor-outdoor feel. And the really important thing about this space is the fact that the material that's outside on our patio is the same basic color as the color of our floor in here. It's a much more, I'd say, a style that's similar to Southern living. It's something we don't do a lot here in the North, but really it's a great idea because it really extends your indoor space to the outside. Now, back to the kitchen. We have a good servery area here because our dining room is on the other side. So this gives us a landing pad so we can take our items to the dining room, which again, isn't used all the time. So this may be also used for prep. We have our main sink here, and then we have a side-by-side -side fridge and freezer, which gives us a really good work area. And last but not least, in terms of the working area of the kitchen, we have our cook space over here. Now you'll notice, and this is my thing, I like all my hot items lined up together, meaning they stay within the same line. You don't cross through it to get to the fridge on the other side. Have a look at your own house and see, is your fridge a distance from where your cooktop is so that you're always crossing in between? If that happens, that means you're really not using your space effectively. So all the cooking items are on this side and all our cold items are on that side. And then this becomes really our good prep counter where we can put out our items that are gonna go outside to the barbecue at some point, or we can use it for serving, we can use it for prepping, baking, cooking, whatever it is that you need to do. And this gives us this wonderful view from other parts of the house as you look into the kitchen. And every wall in your kitchen should be good looking because this is the money room. This is the room that people wanna see and I think we've really achieved it here. Like most homeowners, they want to be able to store items in their kitchen beyond just food. Of course, a desk and filing is something that we always add into the kitchen now. We've created a little nook over here that allows us to put, you know, the mail, the papers, 
school calendars all tucked away so that you have a place to look at them and it's in, well, where the main things happen in the house. Our door to the barbecue is out here so it's easy to get to. And let me show you, the best seating in the house has to be our little window nook. I love the idea of a seating nook in a kitchen because in the end, this is where all the action is. And adding this in was really an answer to the homeowners who wanted to be as close to the pool as possible, but indoors. Because remember, there's a couple seasons where, well, it's a little cold outside, but this is a beautiful view. Sitting here, you can take advantage fully of the backyard, but also everything that's going on inside the house. And to make that a little bit easier, we added these swivel chairs so you can move yourself about, turn and look outside, see your putting green, or see what's going on in the kitchen. It makes this such a usable space. In fact, I kind of feel like this is headquarters right here. Thank you for taking this tour with me on the updates of this home. It just goes to show that any home can be spectacular. Remember, the homeowners have been in this house over 30 years. So by making these changes, they now have a perfect space for friends and family and entertaining everything they've ever wanted to do here. If you love the tour, please subscribe to our channel. That way we know we can offer you more of these in the future.